Okay, I'm going to talk knives here for a second. I'll try not to bore you to death with this, but I, um, I work with knives all day long. Big knives like this. Sometimes this will be the only tool that I use in a day. So I like big knives. They, they feel very natural to me. And I've been using this one as my basically hard use survival knife for a couple of years, the Becker 9. You've probably seen that in a couple other videos if you watched them that I've done. Um, but I had a few problems with this and I'm kind of losing a little bit of confidence in it. For one, the bolt came out. I've got a video showing that. And I have a Becker 7, also by Camillus, not the K-Bar version, that I snapped in half. So that got me to wondering if maybe this knife is a little thin for the hard use that I kind of put these things through. Perfect. So I dug this guy out of the drawer, the Trail Master. I'm sure you've all seen it. I've had this for a couple of years and I've really only cut one thing with it. So I thought, okay, it's time to roll this guy out into action because as you can see, it's quite a bit thicker along the back of the edge of the blade. But it's got this nice flat grind going for it, so I don't doubt that it'll be an efficient cutter still. There's just a few things I don't like about this the way it comes, and that's why I have this guy sitting here. This was a knife that I used for years before, um, before YouTube came along and everybody realized that uh, knives aren't for cutting, they're for chopping and batoning, but uh, <laughs> that's why the black's still on it. This guy's been through lots, lots of deer into the ocean, you name it. But what I did was I took the top of the guard off so that I can choke up on the blade and really get close for, for fine work. And I want to accomplish that same thing with this. Because as it is right now, this big chunk of whatever it is there, brass or whatever, gets in the way. So you can't really effectively choke up on the blade for fine work, whereas with the BK9, blades right there, you don't even have to choke up. That's one thing I did like about this knife. So I'm gonna grind that off. And the other thing that I need to address with this knife to make it something that I wanna use in the field is I have to deal with this sharp little point right here. When I do choke up on this, it gets right in the finger. And that'll open me up pretty easily. 
So I'm going to have to, since it's already a long ways from the guard to the blade, I'm going to make it just a little bit longer so that I can get my finger in there and uh, do that fine work. Shouldn't affect anything as far as the chopping ability goes or using the blade further out, but since since it's like that, I'll, uh, I'll fix it. Plus, I'm going to grind off the black in here and make that into a spot where I can get a good bite on a fire steel. That should make it a much more usable field knife for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll show you when it's done. All right, here's the finished product. Well, not finished yet. I've ground it down up top and got the bottom to where I want it. Be able to strike a fire steel in there. I can get my finger in there. A lot more room for working. Don't mind the noise, sorry, I'm just on my, my way home. Got a steel bridge over here and it's pretty loud. But uh, yeah, this is my commute my shop home can't complain anyways yeah that's the modifications I'm happy with it keep an eye out for this knife to show up in videos down the road let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions thanks for watching